Good afternoon, everybody. The Irish Demon back with another video. Today, we're heading over to Annapolis. We're going to be having a look at a video from Annapolis Audits. And this is a bit of a tricky one because while I definitely don't agree with how he carries on in this and how he wastes so much police time just to benefit his YouTube channel, at the same time, some of the way he's dealt with by the cops, I don't think is particularly great. But we'll get into that a little bit later down the line. What I would like you to do in the meantime is have a good think about it while you're watching this video and let me know in the comments comment section down below what you think about it all. Do you think the cops could have handled it better? Have your say. So here we have car 2245 parked in multiple parking spots, taking up multiple parking spots. She says she's here on a call, but I don't see any emergency lights on or anything like that. But so yeah, apparently you can take up as many parking spots as you want whenever you want, as long as you can just drive a police car, right? Or unless you are somebody who has a trailer full of timber or a camper. The car is also idling, which is a violation in the state of Maryland. Now I found that particular comment very interesting and I'm sorry for cutting in so quickly, but let's have a look at the law that actually covers what this person is talking about. So are there anti-idling laws? Yes, there absolutely are. And they are as follows. A motor vehicle engine may not be allowed to operate for more than five consecutive minutes when the vehicle is not in motion except for as follows when a vehicle is forced to remain motionless because of traffic conditions or mechanical difficulties when it is necessary to operate heating and cooling or auxiliary equipment installed in the vehicle which i would argue in this scenario would be the case with this officer because of computers and cooling systems etc etc also you know radio chargers things like that now all that aside you can argue a couple of points there but there's also this part and this is something that absolutely bugs the hell out of me when it comes to auditors because they never look at the law in its entirety. They cherry pick one tiny bit of it and they use that to make their argument. He should have scrolled down to this part where it says, exemptions. This subchapter shall not apply to police department, fire department, emergency or public utility company vehicles in the course of public service, which this officer is doing. And she left her laptop computer up, so. Again, this is car 2245. We'll get her to identify herself. T A V E R A S. Tavares six one five five. T A V E R A S. Badge number six one five five. Alrighty, so we saw him gently tap on the window and call out her name and her badge number. Not a big deal, you may say. Now, what I want you to pay attention to here is what he says later on in the video. Now, he claims that he only tapped on the window and that was that. He asked her to identify herself and that she refused to. And then we hear a slightly different story from the police. And at first, when I watched this video, I thought, oh, he's got a point there. But then I'm going to bring you back to something he said earlier on in the video. And let's see if you can catch it in the meantime. And if you do, leave it in the side chat or in the comments section down below so I know that you are on top of it. Hey sir, how you doing? My name is Officer Williamson, I'm with the Napa City Police Department. Okay. I have to let you know my body on camera is on so let's okay. record this conversation. Cool. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing? Yep. You were banging on her window? Absolutely not, it's not banging on the window. It's all, it's all else in the video recorded. I nicely just... Were you trying to get her attention? Absolutely. Oh, okay, what can Three I help you with? Three times I've tried to get her attention. Okay, what can I help you with? We can get her attention for me. You need her? I can't help you? Yeah, no. Why can't I help you? Because I'm getting her attention. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Yep. What would you want from her? At, uh, that's her business and my business. It's not your business. Where, do you work here or something at the pawn shop? No. Okay, so if you don't have anything that you need, I do have something that I need. Okay, what is it you need? Yeah. I'm also an officer and I'm capable of handling whatever this is. It's okay. I'm, I'm dealing with her. Sir. Thank you, the Williamson. 6534. Thank what you. What is that. it that you need? I, I've explained that. What is it that you need, Call being reported. Calling the police on me and saying that I banged on your window is not a very good look when I call Sergeant Ashione after this. So. Okay, so what's going on? I'm simply trying to get her to identify herself. And ask her why. Now you've got three officers out here? Man, that's, that's a little absurd. Actually, he's not right. It's a Okay, well, officers, since you guys are out here, maybe you can inform her that she is illegally parked 
You Is just, that why you wanted her attention? You just saw this person not be able to park anywhere else and have to squeeze themselves in behind her because she's out here on a call with no emergency lights on. Okay. So is that why things. you wanted her attention? Yeah, that's why I wanted her attention. Okay. I've so already spoken to her about it. I'm trying to get her identified herself. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that, that's Thank all this is? Thank you, yes, I'm trying to get a law enforcement officer, a public servant, to identify themselves in the course of their duty. Yeah. You did, but she So didn't. here's the thing. She was a little frightened because you were banging on her window and calling her an asshole. I did not bang on the window. I did not. I didn't call her an asshole. Yeah. I didn't bang on anyone's window. I simply knocked on the window the same I did to you. Okay. Is there anything else that I can do for you? Yeah, you can get her identify herself. I need her name and badge number because I'm going to go file a complaint with Sergeant Ashione over there at the police department, and I need her information. Okay. So I need this to identify herself in the course of her duty. Can I get you guys' uh, cards as well? Can I get you to write your, can I get you articulated for me, sir? Can you, can you write it down for me for, for, uh, for your department of policy? Can you write it down for me, sir? Okay. Can I get a business card from you, sir? I don't have any more. Alright, so he just wants to file a complaint with Ashley you because know, you're quote unquote parked illegally. He just wants your name and badge number. So, I'm just going to give it to him. No, no, I'll just give it to now that's one of the things that struck me as a little bit odd. The officer in the vehicle offered to give the gentleman her card, but the officer that's wearing the body cam decided not to take the card from the officer to give it to the man, which would have actually ended a lot of the future arguments that are about to take place here. Okay. Take out your phone and your notepad. I'm yep. gonna give you her name. Okay, no, so I need to write it down. down. Okay, you got paper? No. Okay, you gonna remember this? Tavares? Uh, Tavares, okay. Write it down for me now. She's asking, just put it on your phone. I know, but my phone's recording. If I stop, if no, I you don't do have, that, you don't you... stop recording. I need you to write it down for me. Sir. Can you, can can you, you please, please write it down for me, please? I don't have anything to write it down on, sir. You I'm trying to help you. Pads. No, we don't. We got, we got everything down on our phones now. I'm a millennial. If I don't carry to, paper. You were, if you were to form an information report right now and you were to ask yeah, that's, for my name that's and That's special birth, printer paper you would, no, you that costs a lot of notebook. money. You would pull out a notebook no, that sir, you get at the dollar listen store. Listen to me, you're not hearing me. Are you I'm hearing, hearing me? you, but you're just... I write everything on my phone. Okay. I don't use pen and paper anymore. So none of you guys have notepads anymore. No, no. I don't use pen and no paper anymore. No one has anymore. a notepad Are you going to argue with me about this, sir? This is a lot of officers out here right now. Yeah, well... For a situation for her simply identifying So can you just take out your phone I'm sorry, sir. What did you say? I'm being true. Can you take out your phone and take down her name? I'm, I'm not disorderly, sir. I'm asking, the, I'm asking her to identify herself in the course of her duty, sir. She's being disorderly. Okay, so can you take out your phone so I can give you her information? No, she can write it down. Do you want me to text me. it to you? Sure, you can text it to me. I'll text it to you. I just said I'll text it to you. No, you can write it down to me. I just said I'll text it to you. That's my private phone number. It shouldn't be that hard to identify yourself in the course of your duties. You now have one, two, three, four, three officers and a fire marshal out here because she can't identify herself. You're gonna lie and say I banged on the window. I will be filing a Maryland Public Information Act request for the dispatch calls as well. I'm gonna know exactly what she said about me, and I'm gonna get all of your body cams. So you see what I mean? That could have all been avoided just by simply giving him the card that was actually offered by the officer that he wanted to identify in the first place. Now, before I get the usual comments of, I can't believe Irish Demon is siding with the auditor. Go back and watch my other videos. I don't side with the auditor because I like auditors. I'm siding with him on this one specific thing because I think it was completely unnecessary. She could have just given him the card and that would have been the end of it. That's the best way to deal with these guys. And that's why I want people to understand that when I side with the auditor on these things, I'm only doing it in the interest of everybody's good. The guy's being a douche. You want to get rid of him. Just give him the card, walk away. Job done. Don't give him all this material that he can use. Like, I was inside the pawn shop, right? He literally goes... Hello. Okay, logically, if I was inside of the pawn shop where she was at, how can I have knocked on her window? What she said just doesn't even make sense. She knows she's lying and she can't even keep up with it. Like, I was inside the pawn shop, right? He literally goes, Hello. It's that you outside parking like a stupid, like a stupid asshole, like, um, him. Yeah. 
Now, it's evident from the claim that she made there that she wasn't saying that he went up and knocked on the window of her cruiser. I don't know the layout of the pawn shops, but I've been in pawn shops before and sometimes there's a glass door that you have to get through or be buzzed through. So it's likely what she meant is that he knocked on that door and said, is it you outside parked like an asshole? Now, I wouldn't be surprised and I would tend to say that that's very likely what happened considering the guy's all bent out of shape about the way this officer's parked and parking regulations and idling regulations that don't apply to police officers, by the way. Now, interestingly enough, we don't see any of the footage from him prior to him knocking on the window of the patrol car. Now, I reached out to the pawn shop through my very good friend, JL Warren, and unfortunately, they weren't prepared to provide a comment on this situation. What we were trying to ascertain is if he did, in fact, go into the pawn shop, if he did knock on the window of the pawn shop, and if he did say what she claims he did say. The other interesting thing is that we don't have have any of the body cam footage from the officer involved and we're in the process of getting that at the moment to see what actually happened from the inside because of course auditors have a bit of a history of deceptively editing to make it look like they're the good guys and they did nothing wrong now it also appears to me from the way that his video is edited and presented that he's trying to say that this was the first interaction he had with this officer. From his own words earlier on in the video, it's evident that he must have had an engagement with her prior to him knocking on the window. And I'm not willing to accept for a minute that he wasn't recording that, but he conveniently left that out. Why do I say that? Well, how does he know that she claimed to be on a call at that time? She says she's here on a call, but I don't see any emergency lights on or anything like that, but... Tell me I'm wrong. All right, so since your phone is recording, I want yep. you to take out your phone. Yep. Film that so that you have it. Right. See, no, so I, you don't have to I stop you, recording. I need you to write this for me. You don't have to I stop need you to write recording. this down for me, man. I need it. Why are you doing this? It's, sir, it's you're doing so paper. difficult. Hey, bye. Yes, I'm being difficult, yet you caused an entire situation because you wouldn't allow her to give me a business card with every bit of information about her on it. That's why you guys have them. Now, fair enough, I can kind of agree with him on the point that she should have just given him the business card. That was offered to her by that officer. Rather than causing this big kerfuffle, it could have just all been solved with a little square piece of paper. However, you are the one who caused this whole incident in the first place. Sir, does anybody here have a piece of paper? Anybody have a piece of paper? You guys don't use papers? Oh, she does? Thank you. Ma'am, thank you. That's all I asked for, a notebook. Okay, what do you can need? I, can I please use your notepad to write down her information? Yeah, I'll give you a piece of paper, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. May I use your pen? Frame moment as well. Yep. Thank you very much. I appreciate you, ma'am. You're welcome. There you go. Thank you. Can you write me off a piece of paper? Huh? Write me off a piece of paper. I need some paper. He just wants to write it down. He doesn't want to take it on the phone. Uh, She had a notepad the whole time. I did not, Officer Severe Smith. I told you I write everything down on my phone. I didn't allow you about that copy. And it was Williamson. Six five three four. Lying and saying I did that's not a good look on you, miss. You're already parked ignorantly enough. And can I get your name in since you were the nice one? Gail, G A L E. A G A L E and yep. badge number 7309. Yep. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Can you identify yourself, sir? Sure, it's Officer Coe, 6013. Officer Coe, 6013. And, oh, I know you. What's up, buddy? I'm glad you guys got that trash cleaned up over there at the apartment. About time. What an arrogant little dick this guy is. I mean, come on. Glad you got that uh, trash cleaned up over at the department. About time. Yeah, who the hell are you, discount team skeptic? And you're with you? You're at the Annapolis? The Annapolis uh, Fire Department? Okay. Can you articulate your badge number for me, Squiggs? Right there, right there, sir. Can you articulate it for me, sir? I wear glasses. It's kind of hard to see us glare out here on that. Can you articulate it for me, sir? Sure, sir. Is that what you would tell the judge on the stand, sir? No, I'm not. But is that what you tell the judge when I get you on the stand and ask you a question? No, I'm not. What, uh, what apartment is this? I don't
Maybe on some trash or something? Huh? I think so. This is for his YouTube channel. Did you do any damage to her car or anything? Like no. Did you do any damage to her car or anything? Like no. He says he just knocked his car, says he's just banging on it, calling her an asshole. He has like a YouTube, like one of those like police audit channels. So he he comes around trying to antagonize us. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else, sir? No, not at all, man. Thank, right. thank you very much for letting me use your pen. Yeah, I appreciate you, man. Sorry for wasting everyone's time. Y'all have a good one. Come on, bro. You are not sorry for wasting everybody's time. You're delighted that you wasted everybody's time and got some content for your YouTube channel. Albeit pretty boring content, I've got to be honest with you. So why, Irish Demon, I hear you ask, are you making this video then? To highlight how easy it is for these guys to deceptively edit, to make it look like they're in the right and everybody else is in the wrong. You too, have a good day. Somebody, can you name a badge number, sir? Sorry? Name and badge number, sir? Yes, sir. Sergeant Christopher Becker, 4108. Let me, let me provide that to you in writing, okay? Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. That is phenomenal. Because I asked earlier, and they said that the paper was real expensive, so I appreciate you coming out of pocket on that one for me. There goes my name right here. My okay. man. Sergeant Chris Becker, yep. 4108. My man. You also take note. Yeah. Becker 4108. Okay. My man. Okay. He's showing off now. Are, My man. He's he's going above and beyond now. Hopefully uh, some of that goodness rubs off on these other officers over here. But we appreciate you, Mr. Becker. That's Sergeant Becker to you. Fair play to Sergeant Becker. Honestly, not trying to give the other cops too much of a hard time, but that is the way that that should have been dealt with. Here you go, annoying little man. Take the little piece of paper that you want so bad and fuck off. I get it. I get it. When you're dealing with a <clears throat> demonetization, when you're dealing with a person like him, it's not easy to put on a friendly face and, you know, kind of do what you're asked to do. And it's a natural human response to try to put up a bit of a barrier and push back a little bit. I get it. I totally understand. And I've been there. I've done that. I'm sure I have. But that's exactly what he wants. He gets hundreds of thousands of views from this kind of thing and makes a lot of money doing it and as much as you dislike him and dislike what he's doing by giving him that ammunition you're putting money in his pocket right there anyway folks i hope that this video was a little bit kind of informative uh, i wasn't going for the whole comedy thing that i usually do because i actually felt like this was quite important just to prove a point here so anyway if you did like the video make sure and smash that like button comment subscribe share with your friends all that good stuff if you like the channel an awful lot and you'd like to consider becoming a member or a patreon you can do so down below or consider getting some lovely Irish Demon merchandise. Thank you all so very much for joining me. We'll catch you in the next one. Slancha.